What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that is going to change your life. Today's topic is manifestation. Sit back, enjoy the show. Let's roll. So, good morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is when you're watching this or whatever day you're watching it. At this time, it is 5.55 a.m. on Saturday, July 27th. And do you know what July 27th is to me? July 27th to me is another year of control of my life. You can call it sobriety. I haven't used any drugs or alcohol inside of the past four years. So today, I'm four years clean and sober if you want to use society's terms. In my terms, I'm fucking winning four years straight every day, period. And I want to talk a little bit about manifestation. Not so much, like I'm in a great mood. I've got an event going on here, which is what I'm going to talk about. So there's probably not going to be a real key message in here besides the fact of this. And I'll just give it to you early so you don't have to wait to the end. If you can truly believe it or dream it, if you can truly dream it and you can believe it, it will show up. I used to read the self-help books, probably do listen to podcasts like this, different types of things where I'm like, man, this guy's got something. You got to be lying. There's some secret. There's absolutely no fucking secret. No secret to success. No secret to being a better man. No secret to getting the love of your life. No secret to being the dad you want to be. No secret to getting control of your drinking. You have to fucking believe it. Period. So I want to talk about manifestation. So today... Um, as I'm grabbing my coffee and heading back to do my own personal quick workout, then heading back over to the resort to the event I got going on because I'm coaching and training all weekend on a three-day event. There's 16, well, 15 made it. We had 16 men. One guy couldn't make it at the last minute, but 15 men flew across from all different parts of the United States to get here to spend a weekend with me who have already got control of their lives, right? They've already got control. They've already went through the process of my course, of my program, living the life. Some guys have been with it for over a year, about a year. Some guys are are literally brand new, three, four weeks, and have made fucking drastic life changes. But this is the thing. I saw this in my head, day in and day out, to the point where it gave me anxiety. Good anxiety, like desire. Like this piece inside of me that wanted. I could literally visually see this day in and day out. Now, not to the, to the magnitude of what I what it's become, right? And the gifts and the things I give away and all the cool stuff. And as a matter of fact, I could actually see it bigger than this in my head. But my point is this. I woke up this morning after we you know, got home late from the event, got up, ready, charged up. I slept probably three hours as a kid. Can't, couldn't be more excited. Life's fucking going amazing. And I went through some serious shit this week on the way to get here. But I still showed up, and I'm here to fucking win. My point about the manifestation is this. I'm dumbfounded sometimes. I'm not the smartest dude. The different, like, I don't even know. I, truthfully, when I look at it, like, I, I don't even fucking know how I got here. Besides the fact that I was on the gas, I never let off. Maybe I'm too dumb. Maybe I'm too thick-headed. People told me that I should. People told me you should give away what's given you freely, which was never given me freely. Spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on building myself up. People told me I couldn't inspire. People told me nobody would listen. People told me my videos are stupid. People told me my ideals are stupid. But I kept belief in myself by creating a future and manifesting it. Today, the world comes into existence. I mean, actually, it started last night, but today is a very symbolic day because we're about to fucking take these guys down a deep dive on a journey that I've went through that's going to release the men they want to be and they're going to leave fucking better. But this thing created in my mind long before it showed up here. And maybe you right now are just having a hard time manifesting what it's like to go a day in control of your life, thoughts, emotions, and actions. Maybe you are just struggling to figure out what does it look like to not drink for a month? What does it look like to be able to go to a meeting, sign a huge deal, and not go out for drinks afterwards? What does it look like to be able to take your wife on a date, have a couple glasses of wine, and then go home instead of starting a fight, getting fucking erratic with her, dropping her off and going downstairs in the man cave or your basement and getting fucked up, torched by yourself because it's a deep-rooted instinct of what you want. What does it look like to be on vacations with your kids your family, your wife, your friends, whoever it is, have dinner, have a couple drinks by the beach, and enjoy the moment versus getting sloppy at the all-inclusive bar, eating shitty food, hammered, 
making a fool of yourself. All things are done. And my brother, I can tell you what it looks like. It looks like you making a decision. It looks like you making a choice inside of your head to create that picture, to create that mental vision. And there's, there's works of process that's there, but if you can't believe it, if you can't see it, you can't get it. If you want to sit in the world and manifest the fact that you have to go to a meeting for the rest of your life, if you want to manifest the fact that you have a disease and you want to fucking cry about your problems and manifest those things and build them up so they start working against you, you're fucked. Sure, you could figure out a way to just not drink for today. But you'd be robbing yourself of life, future, energy, happiness, love, creativity, producing, memories, emotions. All I want you to do today is take a couple minutes out of your day and just try to imagine. Consider the possibility of what if. What would that look like? What would your skin complexion look like? What would your relationship look like? What would that air on the Caribbean Ocean feel like on your face when you're actually only having a couple glasses of wine or a couple beers versus being sloppy sunburned because you fucking pass out of the sun? My brother, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. There is nothing fucking special about me. I just told you. I'm just willing to put in work. I follow a very strict, disciplined lifestyle. Discipline creates freedom. Freedom for me to be the man that I want to be. It all starts with a choice. It all starts with a choice for you. So my brother, do you want freedom? Do you want to free yourself from the shackles, the chains, the bondage that's been holding you back? You show me your future, and I'll help you build your foundation. But it's gonna take a choice. A choice today for you to type in Iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. Iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. Fill out the app show up on the call, make a decision, and change your life. That's all I got for you today. This is Mark Jensen. Have an amazing day. I'm off to this event. We'll see you on tomorrow's episode.